There are only 20% of people who really try to be good at what they do. Okay, rest 80% of people, they are just doing very shallow work. Hello and welcome everyone. If you are uh, new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and uh, you are watching musings with software engineers now if you are new then uh, subscribe to this channel uh, because on this channel i share ideas insights tools and tactics so if you want to grow really fast in the software industry then subscribe now and uh, press the bell icon so let us begin abhirup datta hi abhirup how are you Okay, depth full stack versus specialization front end. See some companies. So when you're talking about full stack development, you are talking about, you know, front end development, you know, back end development, and you also know database development. Okay. You are like a person who can do all of this. Okay because you can do all of this okay and there are there are only few people who can do all of this the salary that a full stack developer gets is high okay when it comes to front end developer if you are only a front end developer okay within a team then that company will have to have a front end developer then the company will have to have a backend developer. There will be a communication between the front end and backend developer for all the development activities. So the requirement. So in that case, your salary will be lower. Okay. As far as technologically, you have to be good in both. See software development is more like a creative field. Okay. Software development is a very creative field. Okay. It is like music. If you learn music, you have to learn it properly in a way that you are able to play the music correctly. Correct. If you just, uh, just, just press the keyboard or, or, or just try to play music without learning anything and you just say, okay, by trial and error, I'm going to just get the music then that is never going to work in music. It's a creative field. In the similar manner, software development is a very creative field, which means that whether you learn the entire full stack development or whether you learn only front end development, within that you have to have the depth. There is no shallow in that. Okay, even within front end itself, for example, in front end, you have JavaScript, you have React JavaScript, you have Angular JavaScript, you have uh, jQuery, uh, you have HTML, uh, HTML5 and uh, CSS. Okay, uh, so there is so many things that are available in front end development. So front end itself can be really difficult for somebody to learn. So when a person learns a full stack development, that person really needs to be one very sincere and that person really needs to be a very good programmer to be able to quickly learn all these different technologies and another thing is that this person needs to be intelligent enough to combine all these technologies that is front end back end and database to build a complete software application okay that is the key Okay, there is a difference between somebody who just knows how to play a violin and somebody knows how to play a drum. But there is a music director. He knows a few different instruments. He knows how the beats work. He knows how the strings work. He knows how the piano works. He knows how he knows he has the knowledge of all these different instruments. And if he will play any of this instrument, he will play comfortably well. But the beauty of the music director is in putting together all this musical instrument to create a music that is mesmerizing. Correct. That is exactly what a full stack developer is. A full stack developer is using all these different tools and technologies. Okay. 
to put together these tools and technologies to build really uh, amazing software products okay so if you are not able to build an amazing software products if you are not you know you are very bad at front end you are very bad at back end you are very bad at database development but you know all these things a little bit and you are not able to put it all together to work in a uh, a synchronicity then there is no meaning of being a full stack developer or a front end developer okay so understand that don't think about depth depth you require depth you require in any field if i want to do this youtube i need some depth to be able to understand how youtube works and i need some depth to be able to understand how uh, keywords and thumbnails and uh, how content works on youtube to be able to grow this channel without that nothing is going to work okay so always try to become the best in the world never see the whole point is this okay there are only 20% of people who really try to be good at what they do okay rest 80% of people they are just doing very shallow work they hardly do the work with the same kind of passion and i'm not talking about software development i'm talking of any field you talk about quality assurance you talk about manual testing you talk about uh, business analysis you talk about project management within any of these fields okay there are only 20% of people who really put all the efforts to become really best okay and you need to put all your efforts to become really best when you start putting your efforts to become really best okay that is when all these things that you are learning is going to help you to build your career as i told you previously you are not helping a company by joining that company in a job you are not helping a company by building these applications whatever you are doing you are helping your career okay so when you have to help your career you have to be best in whatever you are doing okay because when you are best in whatever you are doing then more and more people will come to you and more and more people will want to work with you more and more companies will want you as uh, a engineer in their company and that is when you will start becoming successful so don't ask me about depth whatever you learn you just learn html5 but you become such a master of html5 that just using one thing html5 you can build your entire career on top of that i i knew only one programming language for 13 years visual basic i built my entire career of 23 years knowing only one programming language but i knew it so well that i could build any application using that programming language without the help of anybody else okay so understand this if you understand this uh, abirup then you will uh, be able to do justice so first decide what do you love if you love front end development focus only on front end development there are enough jobs in front end development if you love full stack development then focus only on full stack development okay whatever you love if you love java programming focus only on java programming okay some people like only database development focus only on database development but whatever you learn learn it in the best possible manner even when you are learning full stack just because you know many technologies does not mean that uh, you you can be shallow within your knowledge you have to be deep within your knowledge okay even within full stack development and the higher income you get in full stack development is because you are knowing all these different technologies which is difficult to master right mastering one technology and mastering multiple technology is different things correct so if you have, you have different technologies to master then it is difficult and that is the reason full stack engineers get a higher pay okay they get a very high pay and mostly startups will use full stack developers okay okay i hope uh, abirup this helps you and i hope that you learn full stack in depth or front end in the whatever you love love 
whatever you love learn it in depth and uh, use it for your so i hope that this video is useful to you make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel okay and uh, uh, share this videos as much as possible thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next video